And next door was a shelter that I was staying at, that I met at Elisa for a project uh, about home. Uh, and what was uh, people's idea of home. And I uh, entered some pieces of my idea of home. So that's how we met. And, uh, and then how did you come to do this project together? Um, well, just always wanted to write, but not really being able to. But I just thought I'd just go ahead and write. And I showed Annalisa my writing, and she was interested in it. So it was her idea to, uh, I guess, fix it up so it could be read. And I started figuring out, like, when he was swapping the letters, you know, like, I could, like, it becomes like a pattern assistant. So my role then was to do the uh, editing and transcribe first. And then I'd be letting, and then if there were words, I just couldn't make sense of it. Because spell check on a phone has yeah, got its own and mind, you know. So sometimes I'd be these fantastic things. So we're doing these as volumes. And then Michael also does the, um, the book binding, you know, put the binding in here. And then this is then volume one. And it's all Michael's story. And then with the uh, photographs from, you can see the floor here, you can recognize it's like a, uh, the Renaissance, uh, they have those striped floors. And so this is where, in the, this is the prologue. And then we start in New York, because Michael was actually born in New York. And then it ends in a very dramatic point about New York versus Detroit. So this shelf is mine. And um, these are my writings that I you know, wrote out my story. And, uh, this was an audio book that I listened to earlier this year. And then uh, just like a personal library, like I like to look at art books just for the, the pictures so I can get ideas. You know? And this is a little book I made with a matchbox, with a cigarette box. Books and uh, there are some like really cool ones I would like to blow up, like just where it makes it so ironic what the text is with what's uh, behind here. And then this is the book, by, this is before even starting down here. And so this was like his own. When I had made this book, and it's typically because it's not a bound book, I d did not know anything about bookbinding until this whole project and having to uh, print uh, folios and all of this for Michael. And then Michael did all the bindings of these books, he's been learning that here. And uh, so I made this, and it would also have, I like Matarossa, but then I put one of my books from childhood in that I like, because it's also historical, because the second you're confronted with another language, you become illiterate. Like literally, we go in and out, it's not a fixed state, we all go in and out of these states. And then this down here is just a little library in mind. My audience for this is other artists. I think that artist studios are so organic and inviting and um, it's not institutional. And so if you feel that you have not accomplished what you want to do within other systems of learning, so this artist studio was in the studio at Renaissance. I had the shower. Oh, and that's where we would meet and how the story began. And, uh, and then uh, figuring out. So, I mean, I could see it like, I don't know, just sharing the idea. And maybe suddenly it would make sense to other people. Like, hey, I have a little bit of extra time. I can do this. And if you want to collaborate, you just sort of figure it out. You know, I think that that, I think artist residencies, period, but this is a, a, a suitable, very suitable place.